<laughs> welcome or welcome back to my book channel my name is lauren from lady lauren explore and there's prince he is just being so nosy looking at the door <laughs> waiting for my cousin to come back <laughs> but today we are talking about a book that i read on ku i think i've talked about this book multiple times but i don't think i made a dedicated video for this book and i should and that is The Third Baseman by Lulu Moore. I don't know if I did, but I'm going to do it again because I think this book deserves some more credit. This is what it looks like, but I also have the special edition book from cover to cover. And I know I've talked about this book before. This is an amazing special edition. Like, you can't tell me that this is just and like the pages are a light lilac magnifique i actually kind of forgot how they started off i think because his sister was her friend or became friends with her for tutoring purposes or he she started tutoring him because of something i forgot <laughs> but they become close and during that time they form like a very nice like nerdy like relationship and it's like so sweet he's very stoic um but he is like a her kind of thing like it's only her i'm not trying to do anything else and all that kind of stuff we get to the point where like she is willing to let her career because she wants to work for nasa but she's willing to let her career choices um in colleges um persuade her to so she could be with him and he doesn't know this at first but like when she asks him like where they want to go and he says this place and she's like okay well i can go with you um just wait for me and all that kind of stuff and so like you know they're they're thinking about doing this until it's almost the end of his um, high school year and he breaks up with her very devastating actually very devastating for her it's not like he just he just breaks up with her <laughs> and emotionally like stomach her for real for real he goes off and through the grapevine she hears that he becomes a baseball player and all that kind of stuff he gets picked up um first round blah 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 she then goes to her own career um goes to the college that she was going to go to before she even met him um, becomes a scientist gets married and then a couple years later she gets she's getting divorced <laughs> and wants a new career path that leads us to a new well not new a relatively new baseball team that is like fiending for her they want her for some reason and we don't know why at first but they want her they're just like giving her all kinds of incentives to be a part of their team as their um researcher and like scientists like to help the players um perform better and so finally they give her a basically a deal that she cannot she would be like crazy to not take and she does what she doesn't know, in what you can probably tell, is that the person, um, well, the team that she is on is also the team that our hero is on. And the reason why he's on this team is because, um, well, he wanted to be on the team, but he's also the reason she has a job. Because he says the only reason, the only way that he can be on this team, if they go get her to be a part of the team because he is ready and very willing and very very wanting to have her back in his life and he is willing to do a lot to get her back in his life i'm saying a lot and when she finds out that he is on this team she's already signed the contract so she can't back out she can't because she wants to but she can't and that starts off our relationship with them is a push and pull mainly pulling on his end because she is she, sometimes she's just not budging she is not and he is a completely different person but then we also find out the reason why he broke up with her 
and I mean I guess I get it but I I don't know if I would think that if you just like communication is like the way to go so if you just communicated what you both wanted at that time and if people didn't interfere with your relationship it would be it would be better but I understand on his point of view of like why he did this very devastating but I kind of wish that he had like told her instead of just like giving her the bland answer that he did and then leaving her crushed but that's beside the point because it doesn't make a good story okay I'm just saying he does not make a good story but yes this is so so good and I love it dearly I think I'm gonna reread it I should I make a video of the TBR that I'm gonna have for next month I know I'm a mood reader but I wonder if that would be like a good thing like you know like it's like something to like hold on to something that like holds me accountable or something like that mm, I don't know maybe but we're almost close to the end of the month so that means anticipated reads is coming up but also my book haul is coming up and it's not that many books this month I know right crazy I'm learning my lesson and I understand that I'm not going to be reading a lot of like new books so yeah and I can read on KU that helps so much <laughs> yes physical book buying is not in my my future um unless it's like it's a special special book like empty atoms that book the crack spines book it's the, that duet i'm buying that book well buying a second book i'm just saying but anyways um my name is lauren i post a video tuesdays and thursdays sometimes sundays i hope to see you all in my next video and i will see you all later Bye. <laughs> <laughs>